So I'm installing another lower parts kit in an AR-15 lower receiver, and I figured this is probably a good time to talk about the Little Crow Gunworks Roll Pin Pusher, or RPP. This is a neat specialized tool that I picked up from Brownells recently. These go for $39.99. This is a tool that helps you install the roll pin on a trigger guard for an AR-15. If you guys have ever done an install, you know that. It can kind of be a pain and maybe even a little bit stressful pounding in those roll pins while at the same time trying to support the backside ear. You know, there's there's been horror stories and it's, I guess it's not even uncommon to hear guys not supporting that well enough when using a roll pin and a hammer and punching that through and breaking off that, that back tab or that back ear. And for that reason, when it comes to uh, lower parts kits installs on lower receivers, I always recommend installing the trigger guard roll pin first because if you break that off, um, you're kind of back to square one. So uh, you're either left to do some type of probably hideous looking um, fix on there or get yourself a new lower receiver and start from scratch. So this tool alleviates all of the stress, makes it super easy. I just did this install and wanted to pull up the camera and do it. So um, let me show you the parts here real quick and then we'll just show you a quick how to because like I said, it's super easy. So this thing comes with four, four things. You have the roll pin pusher tool. You have a one and a quarter inch, one and a quarter inch alignment pin that's for the install. You have a, what they call a finishing stub pin. We'll show you how that's used here in a minute. And then we have the one inch disassembly pin. Now I'm not gonna do the, do the disassembly because I have nothing to pull out in this case, but I am going to do the, the install. The disassembly is fairly easy by watching the install. I think you'll be able to figure this out, um, but there's other videos online as well. So I'm gonna show you how to do the install of just a standard trigger guard. Uh, and we're gonna use the one and a quarter inch and then the stub pin, so let's get it done. So I've got my AR-15 lower sitting upside down in the vise in one of the handy Brownells lower receiver vise blocks. I'm just gonna go ahead and bring my standard trigger guard over the top here and install that little detent front portion of the, the trigger guard itself so that way we have kind of have this in there and ready to go. The first thing you wanna do is take your, your roll pin tool and screw this guy basically all the way out. Then we're gonna take the longer of the two pins, which is the one and the quarter inch, um, and we're gonna basically set this up here. And on the other side, we're going to push through the alignment tool. And this is gonna go through the, um, the trigger guard itself, as well as the lower receiver. And you'll see it kind of holds itself in there. Um, I'm also going to grab my roll pin, making sure we have the right one. There are multiple roll pins and a lower receiver install, of course. And I'm just gonna put some oil on this so it has a little bit less friction in going in. So let's roll, the, roll that around there, get it nice and oiled up. And let me change my camera angle here a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. So now this next part, we basically just need to insert the roll pin into the screw portion of the roll pin pusher. So you can do this a couple different ways. You can actually unscrew this all the way, or if you want to rig this up before you actually set it down, um, on the AR-15 lower, kind of like I have it here. You can do that, but just to show you this, because we're gonna need to see it here in a minute, this is a recessed portion that will hold the roll pin itself, which is gonna come in handy when it comes to installing that stub uh, here for the finishing portion. So we're gonna get, stick that in there, got some oil on it. We're gonna get it all lined up, and just gonna screw this guy through here. So I think you can see, let me look at the camera, yep. Uh, that roll pin's coming through. It's going to contact that alignment pin. And we're just gonna basically get it all lined up here and push that alignment pin um, all the way through. And you'll see, well, I'm not sure if you can tell on the camera. Yeah, you can tell. This alignment pin is being pushed out as I'm just slowly kind of cranking on this thing. Um, we're gonna stop just before uh, this screw portion impacts the lower receiver. We can back it back out like this, and we're gonna take this all the way off like I had it originally, back in a sec. So leaving the alignment pin in and grabbing the finishing stub pin, we're gonna install this round end in with the kind of nipple portion out. That's going to actually uh, go into the roll pin itself and give us the, um, the ability to get that finished off and nice and flush with the lower without messing up the lower receiver or doing any type of um, you know marring of the surface so let's screw this back in and we'll push this uh, the rest of the way through a 
Yeah, and just pushing the, the screw in nice and slow, pushing that alignment pin out. And I'm pretty sure we have it nice and flush there. And we do, so it looks good. So there you have it, that's the side that I was pushing through. Everything's good to go, no stress, super easy. Um, no worrying about hammering the lower receiver or um, hammering too hard or not supporting this ear well enough and you know, breakage. So everything went well, super quick. I think I think the biggest thing for me is the how fast it goes in, but also you don't have to, you worry about any breakage that's like the biggest stress for me is every time i start pounding on that i uh, i always feel like i'm gonna break something because some of those will actually go in pretty damn snug even though you've applied oil so flipping it over you will get a little bit of like temporary marring there from that i believe it's stainless steel so you can just take like your finger and just just wash basically move move that off you know that's not really anything temporary i'll grab a little bit of oil and that'll come right off but um yeah that's really about it so um, if you guys got any questions or anything Put them down below. This is one of those tools that is definitely not necessary, especially if you're building like one lower receiver, I would say, you know, uh, but if you're building multiple, you see yourself building multiple, maybe you're in the business of uh, assembling these or gunsmithing, um, or maybe you just have, want multiple for yourself. Definitely, definitely a good tool to have. So $39.99, check it out. I'll put links down below.